glasses, good morning, timer. We got 40 minutes, let's go. Oh. oh horribly sore. Come across. There you go. Going to that pinky finger, pinky toe. Nice and straight, drop those shoulders. Really hinge at those hips. We do have deadlifts today. So we have eight blocks. It is Tuesday, so we have Tabata. So we got eight blocks, eight rounds each block. And let's go side to side. There's, oh, I need to put another one there. I'll think of something. Most blocks have two exercises. So we're just going to alternate back and forth. Get those feet right underneath those hips. Drop those shoulders. Squat and squeeze. We do have a band block. Get those arms about. Open up those shoulders. Scrape the back of the room. Let's get that walk out. Drop those shoulders, hinge, walk it out. Hands right beneath those shoulders. Try to put that foot right to the outside of that hand. So we kind of have this exercise for in the workout without opening up. It's just bringing that foot up using that core. We're gonna find that plank and walk it back. Tuck that chin, give it a good roll. Start that jog. Jack it out. So the first block is that band. We have a banded goblet squat alternating with a lunge pulse with around the world. So smaller dumbbells for that second exercise. We have a curtsy with a side raise. Heisman's. And then we're gonna also kick our arms out. So a little bit smaller dumbbell on that. As we kick out our palms face backwards, we're gonna hit that tricep. Then we have slams, alternating with a halo with a front press. We got butt kickers in three, two, drop those shoulders, knees down, heels up. We got thrusters alternating with a marching, alternating bicep curl, or I don't know, maybe turning into a reciprocal curl. We got deadlifts. So they step back knee driver, cross body chops. Woo, let's go that steamroller nice and wide. Think about the core, driving it up. Then we have those spider lunges, which I know they're not called spider lunges, but I can't think of what they're called. So that's what I wrote down. Alternating with something, I haven't thought of it yet. And Frankenstein's. And then we're gonna end on a core block. We have a regular little crunch, alternating with a lap pullover to an alternating V up. So medium dumbbell for that. And let's get those mummy kicks out of the way. Drop those shoulders, engage that core, squeeze the glutes. So we have 16 push-ups, one full burpee, and five half burpees. So 
three, two, shake it on out. So there's a minute 15 on the clock. We got 16 push-ups, one full burpee, five halves. In three, two, let's go. All right, my arms are already toast, so I'm already on my knees. That's okay. You have a lot of time left on the clock. Oh, you blow your nose and you get really dizzy. Yep. All right, so we have another couple. Our first band, our first block is with the band. So they're gonna go over the knees and we're gonna grab our heavy dumbbell. Heavy dumbbell for the first exercise. Make sure you have a lighter dumbbell for the next exercise when we do those around the world. So I got my fives and I got my 20. So let's do that goblet squat. Get those toes out, knees out, squat and squeeze. Okay, there you go. We're moving, we're dropping it. Come on. Three, two, and breathe. So that dumbbell goes down. We are going to get in that lunge position. My right leg is back. We're just going to pulse as we go around the world. So pulse. So your pulse is whatever feels good on that tempo. Keeping that pulse, action two, and breathe. Pick up that heavier dumbbell. Feet out, toes out, let's go. Come on. Woo-wee. Yep, burning the legs out. Right off the bat, three, two, breathe, switch them out. Now my right leg is forward, left leg back, sink it down, pulse. So as you pulse, you're pulsing through that front heel. Spine is tall, core is on fire. That's it, breathe. Switch it out. Woo. Fix yourself, grab the heavy. Let's go, halfway through the block. The first one, the first block is always the hardest. After that, it's all cake. Maybe not, but. Three, two, breathe. Switch it out. My right leg is back. Palms forward, let's go. Get that pulse action first before you start thinking about those arms. Just a little pulse from that front heel. So not a whole lot. Just keeping your legs in this position with the band. Three, two, breathe. Last time over here on these goblets. Three, two, 
three, two, let's go. Oh. Oh. All right, this is the last time doing the goblets. Make them work. Get those knees out, over the toes, out. Drop and squeeze, come on. Two, breathe. All right, one more time on these. Right forward, left back, drop it down. Palms out, shoulders down and back. Little pulse, little around the world. Really bracing your core, your shoulders. Holy crap, my legs are on fire. That's it, come on. Three, two, okay, okay. You can take the devil band off now. All right, next exercise. I'm gonna get a lighter dumbbell, so I have my five pounder. Woo! We're gonna do a curtsy, and we're gonna start here, and we're gonna raise and put this one out, palm back, so you're gonna get that tricep with your balance and the side raise. So, dumbbell in. Let's go, my right, right hand, my right leg is moving. So nothing about speed here. This is all a balance act. Curtsy, same leg, same arm. Get that palm to the back of the room, squeezing that tricep on the way up. Breathe, change sides. Three, two, dumbbell in, let's go. Left arm, left leg. So as you come up and squeeze that tricep, you're thinking about your obliques. Oh, good Lord, your balance. Yep. Three, two, breathe. Right side, let's go. That's it. Whatever your left arm wants to do for balance, let it. The more you weevil wobble, the more your stabilizers kick in. And breathe, other side. Left. Let's go. All right, I have a five pounder, and you know I have like the weakest shoulders in the world. This is a hard dumbbell for me. Three, so if you gotta switch to a lower dumbbell, breathe. Right side, or just use your fist. You're still engaging that tricep. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, last one. Really thinking about those lunges, All right? You're picking yourself up from that front heel. Four, two, breathe. Okay. Towel water, next block. We have slams, pillow, air, slam ball. And then we're gonna alternate with a halo to a front press. Nothing to do with our legs, all right? We got some slams in three, and two, let's go. So as you pick up that pillow, that ball, that air, you are squatting. Exhale, all the way down. Three, two, 
breathe. Think about that size dumbbell that you can front press with. All right, set it. Set your feet underneath those hips, let's go. Front, press, other halo. Slow and control as that dumbbell moves around your head. Bracing your core, three, two, breathe. Nice deep breath, set those feet. Brace your core, let's go. Steady with those shoulders coming right out. Two and breathe. Ooh. See, I like those exercises. Slow control, not many reps. Back to the slams. Let's go. Second half. Come on. Activate that core. Really engage. Put that belly behind your spine. Tie your rib cages together. Breathe. Set your feet. Slight bend in those knees. Let's go. If you have the movement down, you can control the weight. You can... Increase your speed. Can't control the weight? Go slow. Two, breathe. All right, hopefully the last slam. Three, two, let's go. So you're moving your lower body. Gauge that core. Two. Knee. Breathe. Woo! Hang on to those dumbbells. Set your feet a little bit wider apart. Rack them. 
Let's go, full to half. Pressing up through those heels. Get those toes out of the equation. I'd rather you fall back than fall forward. That forward bit is only failing forward so you can move on, breathe. Woo, shoulders. Shoulders down and back, palms out. Let's march it up. Oh. Oh. Fix those shoulders, core. Brace that core. Bicep, tricep. Three, two, breathe. Set those feet. Rack those dumbbells. Let's go. And your full thruster is only down as much as you can go without your uh, chest coming forward. Three, two, breathe. Holy mother of shoulder land. Set your feet. Shoulders, elbows, palms, let's go. So if you had the lighter dumbbells, you could probably march and move a little bit faster, but you're only gonna march as fast as you can do those bicep curls. Three, two, breathe back to those thrusters. Hopefully this is the last one. Set those feet. Rack them. Well, let's go. Explode off those heels. Squeeze all those glutes. Punch the ceiling. Come on. And breathe. Oh. Shoulders on fire a little bit. Shoulders, elbows, palms out. Let's go. This is it. Drop those shoulders down and back. Don't let your posture go. Squeeze. Three, two. Okay, breathe. Give those hands a 30 second rest. All right, our next. Next block, we got deadlifts, medium to heavy to heavy dumbbells, whatever you're feeling today, two, two legs, two feet on the floor. And then we're gonna get a lighter dumbbell and we're gonna do a step back to a knee drive. So we're not gonna stay in the rocket position today, we're just gonna come right up, just like that marching position. Let's go, deadlifts, shoulders, feet, slight bend. Get those shoulders down and back. Don't let those dumbbells take your shoulders down. Get that, get those boobs out. That's right. Whether you got them or not, you're gonna stick them out right now. Down, feel those hamstrings, press up through the heels, breathe. Lighter dumbbell. I got my favorite five pounder right here. We're gonna come up, step back. So, think of it as your lat pullover, drive it to a knee. This is almost like what we're gonna be doing in the finisher. Three, two, breathe. Pick up those heavy dumbbells. Shoulders, let's go. That tailbone, close the door behind you. Woo. Three, two, breathe, down, pick up your lighter one. I got my right forward, dumbbell up, let's go. Really think about that core. 
as that dumbbell comes up, down to the knee. Keep it stable on that foot. Two, breathe. How those shoulders feeling? Good? Yeah. Great, thanks. Three, pick them up. The heavier, the better. Shoulders down and back, let's go. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Come on, this is it. That's it. Drive that knee up as much as you can. Five. Come on. Three. Come on. Two. Woo. Breathe. Towel of water. exercise. So I have my dumbbell here. Our first exercise is going to be that spider lunge, but your foot's going to go down. So it's not your elbow to knee. I don't know the name of it because I'm having a brain fart today. So we're just going to alternate sides on this one. And then we're going to tap 
that dumbbell in front of us. So get your plank, let's go. Foot up, back to plank, other side. Really go slow and control on this one. Exhale when that foot comes up. Your goal, your ultimate goal is to get that foot right next to that pinky finger. Full foot. And breathe. But if you can't get your foot all the way to the side of your hand, that's okay, you're working towards it. Get that plank, get that plank tap, that dumbbell. Keep your head neutral. You don't have to look at the dumbbell, you know where it is. It's right in front of you. Tap it, back down. Get your feet a little bit wider for that base of support. Thought your shoulders were killing you before this block. Yup. And breathe. Drop it on down. Go into that child's pose. Stretch it out. Back to those lunges. Get your plank. Let's go. So you're keeping your spine totally straight. If you're working out in front of your camera or a window where you can see your reflection, you just look to the side to make sure everything is down. Breathe. Okay, going up, number four. Give those shoulders a good roll. Get your plank, feet apart, let's go. Tap that dumbbell. Every time that hand comes out, you exhale. Tighten that core. Brace yourself. So your feet are wider apart and your hands are probably a little bit closer than your shoulder. Breathe. So when you lift up, you're in a more tricep position. Back to those lunges, let's go. So. It's not about speed, it's about keeping your form. Whew. So you go, slow or fast. Your hip flexors are gonna feel it, or at least mine are. Three, two, back down to those knees and breathe. Woo-wee! Okay, let's go back to that plank, feet wide, tap it out.
If you were real, really high hoe into it, you can maybe hold a hollow hold as you go to your V-ups. Not today. Breathe. I'm not even gonna try it today. Back to those crunches. Almost there. I think we have like 60 seconds left. Let's go, crunch it up. It wouldn't be 60 seconds. Oh, come on. Crunch, exhale. Really feeling those upper abs. Two, and breathe. Oh yeah, maybe. I don't know, get that dumbbell. Get that dumbbell, lap pull over. Let's go. Everybody dance now. Come on, come on. Three, two, breathe. Put it down. All right, I think now we just have 40 seconds left, right? Thank God we have a timer because I suck at this counting shit. Let's go. Come on. Crunch it up. Make them the best crunches. This is the last 20 seconds. Shh. Shh. Got a little pause up there. Pause it. Shh. Ooh, three. Two. Oh. Okay. One more time with these lap pullover. Alternating V-ups. All right. Is there a difference between alternating V-ups and jackknives? Come on, let's go. Let's do it. Thinking about that lat pullover. So there's no momentum as you come up. Okay, maybe a little. Five more. Two. One more, one more rep. And breathe. Put that dumbbell down. Bring your knees into your chest. Roll those ankles. Flip it right on over to that tabletop position. <coughs> Hands underneath, toes, toes tuck, knees underneath those hips. Let's get that camel. Arch your back in. Tailbone and forehead to the ceiling. Exhale, let's get that cat. Spread out those shoulder blades, pressing the ground away from you. One more camel. And one more cat. Nice tabletop position. Extend one and opposite. Keeping those hips nice and squared. And just hold it. Extend more. Squeeze that glute. Bring it down, change it out. Keep that breathing nice and even. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Squeeze that glute just a little bit right here for three, two. Bring it on down, tuck those toes. Heels to the floor, walk it back, tuck that chin, roll her up. Nice inhale, exhale. Roll those shoulders back. I'm okay. Let's get those arms. Oof. All right, ladies. Well, that was a good Tabata. That went by very fast. Yeah, sometimes I worry that the is just gonna suck and it's gonna go by slow. I mean, time passes regardless. <laughs> but it's all on how you perceive it. Get that elbow, bring it back. So no class tomorrow, but Thursday and Friday, we'll be back at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. Open up that chest, squeeze those shoulder blades, maybe a little arch in that back. Oh. And bring it the other way. Can we do a quad stretch? Sure, I have a wall. I can do anything. Ah! Knees together, heel to glute. Tuck those hips forward a little bit. Really feel the top of that quad. Shake it out, get your balance. Knees together, shoulders down and back. All right, nice job. Virtual high fives everywhere.